Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with The Sew Down, which is our sort of monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read, listened to in the world of sewing, and we thought that we'd share with you because you might find it interesting. Um, so, it is now the end of May, um, which has been quite interesting. I'm sure you guys are all me made, made out, and um, I don't know about you, but I have definitely sort of sat back and thought, what does my wardrobe need? What have I learned from kind of making a real effort to wear my me made clothes? So the first thing is trousers for me. I don't make trousers because I'm scared of making trousers, which is really stupid because I can make trousers. And they're the thing that actually I have the most issue with buying ready to wear because I've got quite a kind of, I'm not a standard shape. Um, so today I am, I've cut out that upstairs, I'm about to start sewing, it's the Paper Cut Patterns Nagoya Pants, I don't know if that's how you say it, but, um, and they're sort of a kind of baggy collot sort of top and I thought they'd be really interesting to make and I will report back so I don't know about you guys, but have you found like now at the end of me and Major, you're like thinking about what gaps you have in your wardrobe and what you want to make. Um, it's quite nice actually having a month where you have to sit down and sort of make, kind of wear the stuff that you've made and think about, do I like this anymore? Do I want to wear it? Um, yes. So I guess I've started with my pattern for this month. So that is what I'm going to make. I'm quite excited actually, I'm quite excited about doing this, let's just hope they fit. Um, fabrics, I'm going to talk to you about fabric now which is always one of my favourite things to talk about. Um, so this week I've got some stuff from the lovely Like So Amazing who um, is was a blogger and has now set up a fabric shop so you know someone else who also has a fabric addiction who doesn't want to own a fabric shop so she sent me some of her sam samples of her fabrics and I thought I'd show you them because there are some really lovely ones um let's start with I'm going to start with the one that is probably the least me but the one I'm most drawn to so it is this oh and it looks really good on the camera um so this is a really beautiful um velvet jersey in this beautiful sort of minky pinky colour. Um, it is so soft, I can't even tell you how soft it is. Um, I really like this, I don't know what I'd make with it if it was me because I'm, as you can see, I'm not that glitzy but I just think it would look amazing in a dress, I mean it's itching to be made into a dress, it would look so glamorous but I think this is really, a really, really beautiful fabric. I've got it here, so it is Eleven pounds a meter. Um, I know eleven pounds a half meter. So it's quite. It's on the pricier end, but I mean, it's so totally worth it. Um, the other, another fabric she sent me, which is definitely a bit more me, <laughs> from glamorous to slightly less glamorous, is this really beautiful. Um, let me find it up here. So I've got it. Um, a linen rayon. So it's in this really nice sort of beigey colour. And I'm all about the natural fabric, especially in the summer. And the really nice thing about linen and rayon mix is that you have all the lovely kind of features of linen, but one, it crim crinkles a little less, and two, it drapes, it's got more drape to it. So you can see here, it's got, it actually, it's got a really kind of nice drape, and it's got that lovely texture, which you'd hope to get from linen. And this one is, oh, it's, so it's £10 a metre for this one, which I think actually is a really good price. Um, my last fabric from Like So Amazing is quite exciting actually. So this is a, um, I'm just going to hold it up so that you guys can see, it's a ribbed jersey. Um, it's really nice, it's got this kind of really sort of deep, you can see, rib to it. Um, Sorry, I'm hiding behind the fabric because otherwise my camera can't focus. <laughs> um, and I think this would make loads of really nice things. I was thinking like the Nico the, from True Bias, the Nico top or dress would look amazing in this. Um, 
anything yeah kind of turtlenecky I think would look great it's a really nice way it's really soft and it's got a really high cotton content I can feel so it it's not going to be sweaty at all which is always um always good but yeah you should definitely go and check out her site she's got some really nice stuff and I think as a dressmaker she kind of knows what we're all looking for which I quite like about her stuff so there's definitely like the things that you're panging for online she usually has them so yeah definitely go and check her out everything I mentioned I will pop links to down below so you can go and have a proper research um so moving on so fabric pattern done um I just want to talk to you a little bit about a um charity that Rachel and I are going to be working with we're not quite sure how yet but it's just sort of it caught our eye and it I feel like it's something that's quite important and we need to kind of help or we'd like to help with so I will pop a link to the video that you should go and watch it's on the BBC and it's about um women in northern Iraq um in refugee camps and about an amazing lady who teaches them how to sew and then provides an income for them so the charity is under, let me just get it up here, so she works for a charity called Bring Hope and they are quite a big charity and they work for, um, they do lots of other things but this is sort of her project within the charity. So Paula um, goes over to goes over to Iraq and um, teaches people how to sew. She is constantly looking for people to donate sewing machines, sewing supplies. And Rachel went and had a meeting with her this week and we, we want to try and help. We're just thinking about how we can do it and how it would work. But I feel like this is a charity that's really, it's obviously close to our heart because let's be honest, who, who you know teach people to sew is fantastic but the concept these you know the refugee camps over there are just enormous and really you know these women have been through a really really tough time most of the men in their lives have been murdered most of the camps have just got women and children in and there's very it's very hard for them to earn an income over there women traditionally don't work and we just think it's quite important so I'll, I'll pop a link to the video so you can learn a little bit more about it and also to the charity page Rachel and I were going to write a blog post about this and think how we can come up with something because I don't know about you guys but I feel like this is something that we can really help with and I think it would be really nice to help out these women because they've had a pretty rubbish time so yeah I'll pop the video up for that so I think you should go and have a, go and have a watch um, the other thing that I wanted to show you, oh, have I lost it? Let me find it. Oh yeah, no, sorry, I've got my laptop here and I just thought I'd lost what I wanted to talk to you about. Another little video, it's not very long, it's um, with Stella McCartney and she is talking about how, um, basically how fashion is, the whole fashion industry is really, kind of destroying the environment it is one of them apparently that this, that industry is one of the biggest and worst sort of kind of what's I don't know they're affecting the environment the most with their sort of output so um it was quite interesting it's only a few minutes but I thought that might be something that you guys would like to watch so I've popped that in another couple of things um I thought I saw these and I thought these were really up the kind of sewing sewing gang street. There's two exhibitions happening over the summer which I think will be really great. They're in London but they're on for quite a long time so the first one is um, and it doesn't open till June this one is the Frida Kahlo exhibition at the V&A. Um, so this is an exhibition about all of her like prize possessions and I think this will be amazing because the V&A do really fantastic, fantastic exhibitions as I'm sure you all know. Um, it doesn't say when it ends, so it opens in June but they usually last for sort of six months so there's quite a lot of time if you're not local to London to get down and go and have a look at it. There's also going to be some of her um, clothes on display so I think it will be a really interesting exhibition and I think 
you can definitely learn a lot about someone by seeing like what their possessions are and yeah she's I just love her so I'm really really excited about going to see that the other exhibition is um oh I've lost it oh here it is um it's the All Achille exhibition at the Fashion and Textiles Museum. That starts on the 25th of May and ends on the 23rd of September. Um, this, anyone, I mean a lot of us love All Achille and have a lot of her stuff. Probably some of you have some of her fabric in your lives. Um, I think this will be a really great exhibition. They've even completely covered the outside of the um, building in one of her prints. They've got over 150 of her products in there and I think it will be a really lovely, fun exhibition. Um, the Fashion and Textile Museum, which is in London Bridge, is not huge so it won't be sort of overwhelming. You could probably do it in an hour or so and I think it would be really nice to go and see. So I would highly, I think that will be a really good one and I'm definitely going to go and see that at some point. Um, the other thing to talk about and kind of last but is this last but not least no I'm talking about one more thing after this sorry guys I feel like I'm very all over the place today um so the other thing I want to talk to you about is the Great British Sewing Bee um you can still I th you can still just about apply for um to take part in it which I thought would be quite fun we'd really come on I think we need someone from the sewing community to be on it this year like get some like proper people on and it'd be so much more fun so please this is a plea from me please apply I think it would be amazing and um yeah I'm really excited obviously because it's coming back again this year but I will pop a link so you can go and see what the application process is like unfortunately I cannot go and apply this year because I'm, I'm, you're not allowed to apply if you've had training and I think going to university means that I am not eligible to go, which is a real shame. Um, listening to, so um, I really, have, there's podcasts that I've been listening to, um, kind of I've binged them, um, it's called Happy Place, I think. I haven't got it up on my screen. I think it's called Happy Place by F with Fern Cotton, who is interviewing people. Um, she's interviewing quite famous people and they're talking about, um, I guess the concept around it is mindfulness, but it's not really about that. It's everyone's like, it's just a really interesting chat with different people and she's got quite a lot of famous people, like Gok Wan and you know lots of kind of famous British people but the one that I really really enjoyed listening to and I'd highly recommend was the Dawn French episode and she is talking in that about the adoption process and her marriage and it was it was really it was just a really kind of feel good you know I'm sure a lot of you listen to Desert Island Discs and it gave me the same feeling at the end of a Desert Island Disc episode where I felt sort of really happy and um kind of wanted kind of felt happy with the world so I suppose the podcast did what it was supposed to do um the other thing I haven't been listening to loads of podcasts recently I've kind obviously you know I've mentioned so many times now the love to sew podcast um and also stitches brew which I listen to weekly um but I'm looking for some new podcasts so I'd love some recommendations I'm also very much into audiobooks I haven't really shared what I'm listening to because I don't know if that's too niche for everyone so let me know if you'd like me to share some. Oh I've got one thing that I was supposed to talk about at the beginning when within the sewing thing so I'm, I think I might have shared these before but I wanted to share them again um, because they are so fantastic sorry just grabbing them. If you don't own these I, I would basically say that you will not be disappointed if you buy them so they are Fisker's Easy Action, I'll pop a link to them. Basically snips, I actually don't think they're marketed as sewing, like sewing related tool, but they are the most incredible snips that I've ever had. I think they're actually used for the craft. Um, so they're just, I mean, let's be honest, snips, but they're just, so, they're so sharp um, you can cut through, you, you know, um, when you're cutting buttonholes, once you've done them, 
they're fantastic for this they're great for when you're trimming down a neckline and snipping into the neckline they're just really really sharp and really precise and I would I actually got given these by Stoff and Still and I would not have bought them because I don't know they're not massively visually attractive and I just wouldn't have thought that I'd need them in my life but I I, I actually now can't sew without them so if you don't have a pair of snips and you're thinking about buying them I'd really recommend these they are so fantastic right I feel like that was a very jumbled but I hope you enjoyed our sew down this month bye <laughs>